practical. It's like you got a lot more to prove to people back home than you got to prove to the world. And it's so ridiculous to me because it's like I show love constantly or I try to be myself. It's nothing nothing fabricated. You never heard a record with me talking about I, ch I chopped up bricks. I'm selling O's. I'm popping mollies. And I'm, you know what I'm saying, doing, I can't say about strippers because I've had some dealings with strippers in the past. <laughs> but but at the same time, it's like, I always keep it genuine, I always keep it real. I never fabricate anything. I never tell no lies about nothing in these records. I'm not saying that, whatever. But my thing is that it's just embarrassing to me. It's embarrassing when you feel like you're putting on for your home. And certain niggas or certain girls, it could be women too. It's women because sometimes be worse than niggas. They envy, or they 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 envy, or they criticize, or they scrutinize just because it's it's you that got to a certain platform, and maybe they're back home unhappy. I'm not saying that they're not doing shit. I'm just saying they they may not be happy where they where they at in life, or they may not be, you know, what I'm saying totally secure with their position. But I just can't understand, you know, what I'm saying this somebody from your hometown, this somebody from your state, this somebody. Around the block, there's somebody from your hood, there's somebody, you know what I'm saying, from your street, from your whatever, whatever, you know what I'm saying, from, a, from, but it's like, fuck that nigga, that nigga ain't, he ain't gonna make shit, he ain't gonna, and it's just like, I mean, it's all, all just ridiculous, cause it's just like, at the end of the day, for what? You're wasting your energy, and it's, it's embarrassing because it's like, you know what I'm saying, people, People from home, you expect to unite a, unite a little bit more than people that don't know about you, never saw you, don't know you from a can of paint. But it doesn't work out like that. I just thought I would voice my opinion and get that off my chest because a lot of the times, like, you know what I'm saying, they always say, it's so funny how, and I hate to vent to y'all because this is not a venting segment. It's not a vent and you stream. But mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's crazy to me when you feel like, you know, the people that you try to show something better or do something better and be like, yo, look where we made it from. Look where we came from and look where you could get. It ain't like, yo, F everybody back home. I ain't never seen y'all niggas. I ain't speaking to y'all. Nah, never that. I ain't never. I, I still call up any now one of them niggas, any now one of them. I was about to say bitches, but I ain't going to say bitches. I'm going to say any now one of them women today and still keep it real and still poly like you still know me. Like, I'm still real. I'm still down. I'm still in, like, like you know what I'm saying? I still... And have a pot to piss in, you know what I'm saying? And now because I do got a pot to piss in, I'm not gonna shit on nobody. But it's like they don't understand. They like it's like a mystery, and what what people don't know, it makes them hostile. It's like how the fuck did you get where you at, or how the fuck did you work, nigga? Work to get where you at. Grind. Do what you gotta do. Like you know what I mean? Like it ain't. It won't like somebody was just like, hey. You could go right here and everything will be yours. That's not what happened. Like, first of all, like, you know what I'm saying? Everything, this is my getting ready to be, after this year, this will be my sixth year in this industry. I'm 21. This will be my sixth year after this year. I'm seven, I was 17 when I started this shit. So all of this snapbacks and tattoos and this, six, this shit didn't happen. Oh, he's 17 and then the next day I made... Oh, he 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 shining like it. What it never happens like that, and it's never gonna happen like that. It's grind and it's grinding and it's God. That's all it is, grinding and God. But like I'm saying, it's just that it's just a little embarrassing as people to really see that your own people you gotta prove the most. And these niggas don't even buy records. That's what's even funnier. It's like like they criticize, but they're not even the ones to buy your shit. Or like so, or like go on iTunes to download some shit, or even download something that's free. Like niggas just want to hate without an opinion. You don't even have a reason to hate. You know, if you don't put forth an effort to even listen to something to criticize them, what the fuck am I listening to yours for? Like so. But what I was saying was, I think that it's always funny how when a hater says something, they can say something all day long. Yo, I don't like the way he dressed. I don't like the way he looked. I don't like his music. I don't like his da 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 da. And you're hearing this all day from somebody. You're hearing this all day. So they don't think that a celebrity is supposed to be a human being. So when I respond and I lash out and I feel like, yo, I'm a real nigga. And like, what the, f who the fuck is you talking to? Why the fuck is you talking to me like this? You know what I'm saying? Because I have human emotions like everybody else. And, you know, I'm not walking around like some guy. I'm nonchalant most of the time. So most of that shit, I just brush it off. But after a while, it's just like, yo, okay, fuck. What the fuck y'all niggas got to talk about now? Like, stupid. 
So when I say something, then when a, when a certain person that's considered celebritized say something back to a hater, they want to say, oh, his feelings is hurt. Oh, his feelings is mad. No, my feelings aren't hurt. My dick hurts because you riding that shit so much. So if you please just hop off the sack for like 10 seconds, you know what I mean? Then maybe, you, you know what I'm saying, there wouldn't be no altercations. And it's so crazy to me because now I feel like I deal with a lot of people just trying to get come-ups. People trying to make come-ups. Oh, I think that nigga subliminally dissed me on the record. Everybody tell, everybody listen, now I'm about to go make a diss track on him. Okay, you're not going to get a response to your diss track because I'm not going to make you famous. Oh, that nigga ain't shit. NC ain't going to never support him. NJ could keep him. Whatever, whatever that hoe just said early on Facebook. But, I mean, it's cool. You just mad. Obviously, a female was mad because I wouldn't show her no attention. And she kept begging me to come down to NC. And I wouldn't come. And now she turned into a hater because I won't give it a D. Yeah, I put you on blast on Ustream if you're watching this shit. So, but... Yeah, and I have proof in my phone, in my inbox, saying how you wanted to fuck me and all this crazy shit, and I just kindly told you no. But it's all good. It's Everybody turns into a hater when you don't want to do what you want to do for them. You don't know these people from a can of paint. You don't know these people from shit, but they just feel like they got an opinion because they feel like they can affect you. But fuck them. At the end of the day, that's it. I'm here, and I'm not going nowhere. I just want everybody to get that clear. If any hater is listening right now, if any and if any of you whoever are listening right now, I'm here and I'm not going anywhere. And there's nothing that you can do to stop it. I'm gonna look directly into the camera. It's nothing you can do to stop it because God got me. And that's not even on no preacher shit. That's just on some real nigga shit. And it's nothing that you're gonna do to stop my shit. Mm -hmm. So therefore, we all for that. Team Dricky, we here. <laughs> we're here and I appreciate every single person that's listening to me and listening to it because at the end of the day I feel like I don't have a lot of people to talk to you know what I mean so about this type of shit so when I get to talk to y'all I feel like I fucks with y'all so much and y'all just listen y'all like y'all y'all response is mad mad 100 so actually you can cuss and have God in the same sentence because God knows where my mentality is he knows I'm not being disrespectful in a sense to where I'm disrespecting him I'm just talking about a certain subject that's just real but whatever that's neither here nor there all I'm trying to say is that Oxford stand up 919 stand up Newark stand up 973 stand up 252 stand up Henderson you know what I'm saying although I wasn't raised down in Henderson primarily I still go hard for y'all too and everybody that's on that side that's in Henderson that think that it's some type of crazy beef going on. Nah, it ain't no beef going on. It ain't no Oxford versus Henderson. It ain't Dricky versus Henderson because Dricky loved Henderson. Dricky used to go to school, to the schools out there, whatever, whatever, hang out with niggas from Henderson. So it ain't none of that. It's just one particular nigga trying to stir up a bunch of nonsense for his little niggas, but them niggas ain't doing shit anyway. And yeah, I said it. That's word of mouth. You saw me say that shit live. Another thing is that... um. I feel like I'm, I'm I'm working, I'm grinding, and and every obstacle in my way, I just feel like you know I, I can't let it break me down because I got I got some shit to keep keep working for. I got a family, I got friends, I got fucking dope ass supporters. I don't even call y'all fans. Fans are fanatics. Those are people that fantasize about. No, y'all are dope ass supporters, dope ass people that love my music, and I feel like I I gotta keep grinding. I can't let nobody get me down because if I do, then it's gonna affect y'all. It's gonna affect this music. And fuck that. I love y'all. Word. Real talk. No homo shit. <laughs> Pause. And no diss to anybody that is, you know what I'm saying, not heterosexual. I'm just saying no homo because I'm not homosexual. So, therefore, you know what I'm saying, that's just what it is. But, we clearing that. We clearing all of that negative energy. I just want to speak on that because I had to get it off my chest. And, um, yeah, so... Like I'm saying, um, shout out to I love my weirdness. P, stay on here, my nigga, cause I'm gonna fuck. I'm gonna we we gonna we gonna chop it up after this shit. So you know what I'm saying. P, know what it is. Two five two, we in here. Nine one nine, we in here. Nine seven three, we in here. Um, who that short girl Tiff? We used to party together at the community center in Oxford. And your Patreon, miss you too. I don't know who short girl Tiff is, but I mean, if I probably. Cause that's just your name on here. I don't know who you really are, but shout out to you, baby.